Welcome to the ATM Antisocial Podcast, where people who don't normally get a chance to sit in front of a camera or talk on a mic get that chance here. I'm your host, Tyrell MacArthur, and today I have the one and only, none other, Mr. Rashad Floyd. How you feeling, bro? I feel good, man. Great to have me. Hey, I appreciate you being here. For real. Bro told me this is his first podcast. Oh, yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about your resume, bro. Um, well, grew up in Goldport, Mississippi, born and raised. Uh, went through high school, played four sports, uh, coming in, uh, played three ba- basketball, football, baseball, then ran track, uh, all state in uh, football. Uh, I think I hold the record in football for most catches in the season with 82. God, dog. Uh, fastest person to come through go for, well, in the 100 and the 200, 21-4 in the 200, 10-3 in the um, 100. Uh, after that, went to college, uh, was preseason All-American, my red shirt, sophomore year uh in perm returning uh top three in the school history in perm returning Definitely. with four i think i got four perm return touchdowns and i think i'm second in perm return yards so i uh, had a pretty good college career and now I'm back on the coast coaching you know doing what i love that was a lot first and foremost and he was talking reckless on here already i love it i love it that's how that's how you introduce yourself numbers you feel me all right so go for how that's where. What did we play? Did we play? We played with Coach Pimp together, did we? No, no, I played at Aniston. You did. We. I ain't gonna yeah. hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna say we were scared of you, <laughs> but we re, we respected what Rashad was gonna I was, do. I was bigger than everybody. You was. Yeah, I was bigger. You uh, was. And I was the only person on the team until I got the. Um, we got the fifth grade. Okay. And that's when Tyler Hayes. He came. See, I ain't even remember. I remember yeah. Tyler like he was on. our he was our fullback. Okay. I played running back. I tackled you one time. Yeah, he got. Yeah, that was like football. That was my life yeah. growing up. Football. And then I got into baseball, and, um, basketball, and stuff like that. Got gotcha. you. But football was everything to me. Why? Why football over all the other ones? I don't know. Um, growing up, that's the thing that came most natural. Okay. My brother was he more natural basketball player, and I was like, ah, uh, let me run around real fast and hit people. Hey. So that was that's what I wanted to do. But yeah, that was the most natural thing to me. Just. Cause you ain't need all any equipment for it. All you need was a ball and yourself. That's yeah, it. So, <laughs> just go. That's it. What's the one where uh, the football game y'all played? Well, we all played it, but like you just somebody go to the front, everybody else in the back, you throw it up. Oh yeah, uh, what is it called? Crush the carry, pick up a run. Something like yeah, pick up a yeah, run. Pick up Something run. simple. I can't even remember how. Man. That's been so long. That's man. how I met um John Jonathan. Man. That's really? how I met John John. We was in um sixty first Street in Gaston Point, mm-hmm. playing after uh, Hurricane Katrina, playing pick up a run. Yeah. In the little, in the little yacht, in the um, little lot. Hey, pick up run. If you get to the street, it don't matter. Yeah. Somebody's still gonna tap it. <laughs> get so, hit. <laughs> that's a, hey. That's where that's where skin is built, character is developed, oh, yeah. all that type of stuff. Playing outside, man, getting a little dirty, getting a scrape on your knee, something. Something, but these kids don't know about these days. Nah. Doing everything, got to be inside. Yeah, they on TikTok. Everything so. dancing. Oh yeah, they <laughs> they want to do it for the ground, man. Man, all right. So you you get to go for I will skip to go for I right. Mm. Um. Football star, basketball star. Talk talk to me a little bit about the football career at, at Gulfport. How, how you felt? Your positions. Okay. So, ninth grade, I came. I never played receiver until 10th grade. All right. I was played quarterback, um, middle school. Then 10th grade, come around, they're like, you got to go to receiver. Yeah. Like, you ain't getting much taller. You're going to receiver. So, I'm like, cool. But when I transition to receiver, I'm always chasing my brother. Okay. Every year. He a year above me. Always chasing him. He yeah. putting up stats. Like 10th grade, I'm like, man, I ain't, football might not be for me. Yeah. Like, I ain't getting the ball like that. I ain't producing. But he going crazy. Yeah. So I'm like, next year, I got to chase him. That's That was my whole football career in high school, just chasing him. Chasing his number? Mm-hmm. Got you. So what, do you ever feel like you surpassed him at any point? Overall, let me say this. Overall, <laughs> yes. Yeah. But as a receiver, yeah. no. Okay, got you. Like he he was doing stuff that was just crazy. He like, was. Like it was a, like double cover, triple cover. It didn't matter. Didn't. Yeah. So really had hands. Oh yeah, and he was fast. Like we still to this day, we gonna race. Yeah. When he come back down here, we racing because we always argue who fast. Yeah. So one of them days we gonna get it. Look, shoot. Let me know. I'm pulling up. Oh yeah. I'm pulling up with he the. Can't mess with me though. Yeah. Got to. All right. So football. I remember dad. Dad played quarterback. Beast. Y'all used to talk about how hard he throw the ball. Man, what was what was that like in in real time? Man, he, I know this. Somebody gonna kill me. Whoever see this, 
<laughs> and my era from, I'm going to say from 2000 to now, yeah. best quarterback to come to go for a high. I don't disagree. In one year. I don't disagree. In one year. Check the stats, too. One year. He went crazy. Then, even in college, the only person that I played with that's better than him, yeah, Drew Locke. He in the, he in the league. Mm. Like, that's how good that was to that, me. Bro, that came... I did, I never known really Gulfport how to throw the football yeah. a lot. Me, me. But when Dad got there, I'm like, man, hey, we running the ball just to say here. That's it. it. You could hear it. You could yeah. hear it when he throw it and it hit y'all hands. Yeah, something, that something was, like that. Was crazy. He was that deal, man. Big, big, six two, two thirty. Hey, all you gotta bro. do is get halfway open. <laughs> Six two two thirty is crazy. Quarterback. You get halfway open, it's there, boom, right in front of you. So all right, before the snap, at receiver, right? Mm-hmm. What's going through you what's going through your brain? Walk me through it. Okay. Before the you want snap. Let me give you the detailed version or want me to simplify. Detail. Okay, cool. All right. Let's go high school. All I'm right. in a slot. First thing I'm doing, I know most teams ain't gonna play this man. Okay. Because you play as man, you did. Gotcha. I'm looking at the safety. Safety's going to tell me what the coverage is. All right. Boom. If I see one high safety, it's going to be either, let's go say, cover three, cover one. Cover three for people that are not football fanatics. Um, three people going to be deep. The safety, the corners, they're going deep. All right. That means I'm going to be linebacker going to try to buzz out. Got to make him miss, get open. Cool. That's the first thing I'm looking at. Okay. Then I already got the play. Boom. Get my, my line up. Look at the ball. Yeah. Ball snap. That's when poetry happened. All right. So that, after after the ball snap, then what? Are you able to like like mix your route up, or do you have to stick to? It depends. So okay. if I have, let's say, on a set play, if it's like a concept, concept meaning each route um, matters to a specific other route. Okay. Then yeah, I can't change it up. If I have an option route, boom, I can I can play with it a little bit. You ever watch? Um, you know who Destroying is? Yeah. When they're running their routes or they're doing their ones mm-hmm. and people are running routes, is that realistic? No. At all? No, it's not. Because I'm like, he's doing like four zigzags. Yeah. I ain't never seen nobody do the One-on-ones is not realistic because when you play receiver, I always tell my receivers this. When you play receiver, you're not trying to beat the corner. You're trying to beat the D-line. Mm. So if you don't, you wasting four seconds at the line, your quarterback's at. Got no matter it. what kind of line you got. So when you say D-line, you're talking about? The front four. The so you nose. beating them, not even yeah, just Yeah, I'm not even front. worried about the dude in front of me if I'm that good. I'm trying to beat the D-line. Oh, see, some of y'all ain't that good. That, that yeah. makes sense, though. They trying to, they get caught up in. The dancing. Yeah, I'm gotta, I got to make him look bad. No, he don't matter. The mm. D-line matter. That's when you really get good at football, at y'all. receiver. I hope y'all listening right now. We don't put scrubs in this seat, all right? No. Put real dogs over here. So, all right, pre-snap, snap, you catch the ball. Right. First thing, is it first thing is end zone? Is end it, zone. It's not. It's not looking around. It's not surveying. It's end zone. That's it. I catch the ball. You play so much, you have instincts to everybody to to know where everybody at around you. Okay. Catch the ball, boom. One person coming, it got to be end zone every time. All right. Cause I say, no knock to people that play JUCO ball. No knock, but. You want you want to you want to have D one, uh, you want to have D one aspirations with D one effort. Got you. You don't want to have D one aspirations with JUCO effort. True. So if you just gonna let one person tackle you, that's on you. The person that's going D one, he making him miss. Get to the end zone. Every time. Come on. Nine times out of ten, you gotta win. That's the difference. The people that say, "Oh, coach, don't like me," show put on your film. Let's see how many touchdowns you score. Mm. It's that simple. Is. That's what it is. So what's the what's the like the extreme difference? So uh you know Aaron Fazell? Yes. So Aaron, I had him over here a couple basically episodes ago. I put yeah. it episodes ago. Um he played quarterback at Mississippi College. Mm-hmm. He said the game is much faster at that level. Right. Um I'm pretty sure Mizzou. Oh, it's that's the only talk thing. To me. When you get to college, you still gonna have those good the, those dudes that are good. Mm-hmm. You still gonna have the dudes that's not so good. All right. But the not so good dudes, they get they blend in because you got everybody that's good. Yeah. So a person that's not so good, they gonna really stick out. But to be good at that level, 
it's the minor detail, the technique of everything. Because mm. everybody can run fast, everybody can jump, True. everybody can catch. That's why you're there. But it's the <laughs> minor tech, the technique of did you run your route at this depth? Are you catch? How many times are you gonna catch the ball? Yeah. Out of ten, if you get five targets, you have to either have five targets or four. You got five targets with five catches, five targets with four catches. Three out of five, you you failing. Golly. That's where it boils down to at receiver. Real detailed. Yeah, it gotta be. You gotta be a student of the game. You can't just be playing for the love. Yeah. Like I loved it, but then when I got to college, that's when I became a student. That's when I really became a coach gotcha. on the field. So, with, matter of fact, let's go back. Your recruitment process. Mm -hmm. So, matter of fact, let's go before that. Okay. Basketball, go for it. Oh yeah. We get we get a ring. Oh yeah. Funnest time I ever had in my life. That run. Really. Funnest time. It don't matter. Playing football, college, cool. But that run with that team, that was the best time it, I had it was, in my life. It was lit. Yeah, it was. Hey, we're like rock stars. Like, anywhere we went on the coast, them boys play for GoFor. <laughs> <laughs> them boys play for GoFor right there. You getting free dinners? What? They, they gave us know. breakfast? Yeah, they don't know about that, man. They, 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 don't, they don't win enough. Things. Bro, we got the last championship on the coast. Yeah. That's Dang. insane, bro. That's almost 10 years ago. That is insane. That's crazy. And... We had nobody over 6'6", six, six, over 6'5". Six, yeah, Derek, Derek 6'4", tallest yeah, player. Yeah, 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, and we won. And he really won the big man. Like He wasn't. Like He was a guard that could play big man because he had a good attitude. Yeah. And he went hard. Everybody wanted to win too, bro. Yeah, like, that's the thing, man. It wasn't no, man, give me the ball. No, uh-uh. We knew who had the ball. We knew who was going to get the ball. Exactly. Hey, you rebound, you play defense, you hustle. You pack. When you get in, that's, that's all that happened. And that, and, bro... When Coach Austin shared that post that recently, crazy. I didn't realize we were that good. Man. Watching it back, like being in it is different. Yeah. But watching it back, I'm like, bro, the ball never stayed in nobody's well, hands. Like, the pick. <laughs> <laughs> Knock down. Back taps on defense. Press. Trap. I'm like, what? yo. I I don't I hadn't seen that really from any school nah. since. When I came back down here, that was the biggest thing the coast to me is missing. Nobody right. pressed. We pressed the whole game. Whole game. You gonna have to run, and we not. We playing seven players. When the game get tough, it really it's only really five, and we pressing the whole game. Everybody running like greyhounds, bro. Like nobody on the coast presses the whole game. And I guess it was so common to us back then. Is like I, I mean honestly, I ain't even notice it now because when I went up, I went and recorded some of the state games. Nobody pressed. No. Like no, I'm like, what is? Is this like a new rule or something that they can't? They don't press. Because as soon as we scored, what well, front you got two biscuit right there, <laughs> he aggravating. Right. I'm on the other side. Right. I'm over here ready to foul. <laughs> yeah, give me Javon, Joshir. They over there looking for anything moving. Right. But that was the difference, man. We we had heart. Like we played with a whole bunch of heart. True. And everybody, everybody the biggest thing is everybody knew their role. That's a fact. Like you got to know yourself and know your role and be comfortable in your role. Right. And we had we had that one game we shouldn't have lost. Warren, Warren Central. Central. <laughs> we shouldn't have lost. We lost by one point, thirty-seven, thirty-six. Oh. That Coach was benched me that game too. Really? You remember? I you don't. remember? Well, he ain't benched me. Coach, um, he took me out because I got this. I got you know I always got stupid fouls. Yeah. Then I was I was um mad. He tried to put me in with like a minute left. I'm like, man, the game over yeah. with. I'm like, man, I'm not going back in. Yeah. Man, that next game we went to Merle, yeah. glued it to that bench. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, damn, I got the sweats on the whole game. Hey, that's funny, bro. <laughs> Only thing I remember, I remember two things about that game. I remember. That speech. Huh? That speech. The speech? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, because that was on the way back. That was, that was right after the game. Yeah, so that was on the way back. So I remember three things. I remember the locker room that had like, the yeah, I went, mm -hmm. and then I stole the ball. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I stole the ball <laughs> at the beginning of the game, blew a wide open layup. I've wow. never told nobody this. I've never told nobody why I blew the layup, bro. It was like four girls up there I'm talking about tough. That was a tournament too. Tough, bro. That's some country girls too. I got the steal. I look dead at them. <laughs> Smoked that's, that. That's, <laughs> when it, that's when your hand get heavy, bro. Sweaty ball <laughs> slip. I'm like, oh no. And I knew from then on what my game was going to be like the rest of the day. I'm like, I'm probably not going to get another shot off. But locker room after that. Yeah, that man called Miller. Guys. That joke was so funny. Guys, bro. Hey, rattling, man. It'll be rattling. 
It's gonna be rattling. He said, "Can't sleep, head <laughs> rock against the window." <laughs> See, the so thing cool. is, I think everybody thought he was playing, though. bro. Next game, what? We on that cheese? Cheese, bro. We it's got fifteen people. We on it. We like, bro. bro. We on the cheese going to Jackson. And he was not playing, bro. What? Because we was in that. We was in that. What Greyhound or something like that? Yeah, what we was in, it? Hey, we nice was, bus. What Hotar, bro? Air, uh, air conditioning. Yeah. The, we, they had the charger ports. Bro, it was different. Yeah. It was different. Royce was rapping in the back. Yeah. Coach Miller yeah. <laughs> stood up. <laughs> that junk was funny, bro. Yeah. That but junk was funny. That's how the team was. It was like, we knew we shouldn't have lost. Yeah. We, like, we we literally lost that day. Had a whole disaster in the locker room. Next day, boom. Right, back to, back. right back to normal. We was really beating people too, bro. Yeah, like, was like, we was really winning. Like, people. Oh Ain't no, we beat people bad. It was 70 to 40. The only team that got close was like. North Mississippi teams. Yeah, yeah. North Madison Central's, the um, Murrah. We went to overtime with them. Yeah. Laurel, that was the that was the hardest game we played the whole year. I don't even remember Laurel. Laurel's went on. Um, I'm mad I don't remember these games. That's bro. when Demi Dunk and dude jumped on the rim with him and they ain't called a foul. It was. They I'm had a, a gym with the, you can see the background, the glass background. Yeah. And then then that's when we had to stay in the locker room like an extra 45 minutes after the game. Why? Because we weren't supposed to win that game. It was hard to win in Laurel. That's when they had. Um, Bro, I do not remember this. They had a whole, they had a squad though. That's when we went into that zone and they started shooting from half court. And making it? Yes. But why do I not remember this? Bro, that, was, that game was crazy. That's when was Ricky Holden playing? Yes, that was that year. He my age. Really? Ricky Holden. They had uh, you remember Omar Bayless? I know the name. He played for the Chiefs right now. Football. And he played. Yeah, he was cold. Cooley went to Ole Miss to play football. The big center Derek couldn't block out. They Bro. had a squad. It's my my memory for a lot of this stuff is fading away for whatever reason. I'm scared, bro. Because Biscuit yeah. was bringing up stuff. I'm like, I don't remember this stuff, bro. Man, you gonna it's gonna hit you. I hope so. I'm gonna have to go <laughs> ask Coach for some film or something. I need the only oh, thing. That's, I need to do that. I need to see. We need to see that. We need to the ten year anniversary. We need to sit down as a team and just watch it. Yeah. Everybody come back and just watch it. You think everybody will come? Yeah. Or majority at least. Yeah. At least to play like people. Yeah, play I know. For sure. Derek will come. Biscuit, you, me. Yeah. Javon, Demi. Who else? Alton. Yeah. Sheer. Yeah. Um, Lee. Yeah. Who else was on that team? Raekwon. I think it'd be. I think it'd be yeah, good. They'll come it'd back. be good. Yeah. yeah. But man, that all that stuff was fun. We ended up talking about basketball. Yeah. <laughs> but like, cause it, it was it was fun to get a championship. Cause this for me, bro. We won ninth grade. We went twenty yeah, and all. Was then yeah, next year to win a championship back to back. It was like that's a y'all. You were young too, yeah. ten grade. See, I went through that football. I went that ten grade year. I'm like, dang, we ain't win. We went up there and got smashed. I did. Then football, we, <laughs> I'm like, God, what's wrong with us? But Man. we were supposed to win it in football though. My eleventh grade year. All right, talk so to with me. that team. Yeah, we were supposed to win in state. When did y'all end up getting first round? Meridian, forty nine to forty six. I don't remember. In the rain. That's why you probably it was raining, like storming. Yeah. It was man. They ain't canceled that mud. They said we gotta oh, finish no, this we right here. Mud. Like, <laughs> <laughs> ain't no uh uh-uh. uh. Hey, they see clouds outside now. We gotta reschedule oh, the yeah. game, bro. It, it might get too hot. We gotta go inside. That's y'all crazy, bro. You go through, you do your thing, you come back to Gulfport High and coach. Yep. What's it like? Different. It's weird. All right. Because uh, everybody knows me, mm-hmm. which you know me. Um, I don't like. I don't like that everybody knows me, and I'm a okay. reserved person. True. But um, when I'm passionate about something, which is football, I'm all in. Yeah. So um, it was only right I made to come back, uh, following my uncle footsteps. He coached here for a long time, so I was like, if I want to start coaching, I'm gonna start here. Okay. And eventually branch off into other things. But I wanted to start here. Yeah. That was my plan all after um football was over. I always knew I wanted to coach. What what is it like being on this on that side of it though? Uh, I understand now. All right. I understand the headaches that players <laughs> can give you. Yeah. Uh, I understand why people yell. Yeah. Because uh, I'm not even a big yeller, but sometimes these kids can irk your soul. 100%. And they know they're doing it. And they do it on purpose. Yeah. But <laughs> 
as long as you got that relationship with that kid, they'll do they'll run through a wall for you. True. So like uh I know like I've been able to record some of y'all games and certain stuff will happen and I hear I hear everything. <laughs> That's why in some of these videos, y'all don't hit, y'all put music over it. Cause I'm like, I remember, um, I don't even know if I, if you don't, if I got to cut it, I will. But you was like, uh, somebody was open and I think Jacob ran. Yeah. He took off instead. Mm -hmm. And you was like, throw the, and it made, it was like, it made me think. I wonder if he felt like that when he was a receiver. Yeah, that at, at some point in time. I know, I know. Coach, probably, coach, um, when I when I was at quarterback, I know the receiver felt felt like that all the time. And it's just like, as a receiver, being a receiver coach, you always feel like your receiver needs the ball. Okay. So he probably made the right decision to run, yeah. but I'm like, man, come on, get us the ball. Like yeah. we need to make something happen. But yeah. You, in the heat of the moment, you like, man, yeah. get my guy the ball. Yeah. <laughs> but like, if I if it was up to me, I, we'd get the ball a hundred times out of a hundred times. Yeah. But sometimes that's always not the play. True. What is it like? Um, what is it like when you're there, or what is your relationship like with the kids there? Um, Do I'm they, their coach, but I'm also their their big brother. Yeah. Um, in some instances, a father figure, uh, just somebody I can come talk to, and about anything, life. Yeah. Um, sport, um, they have all type of stuff going on in their life. I'm just trying to be that medium for them. So yeah. whatever they need help with, I'm there. What uh, I interviewed a couple of them and I asked them, "What is it like to have vets like you and Nance there to like talk to them, share stuff with them?" Mm -hmm. And they appreciated it greatly. It was mm -hmm. like it, it was tight to see. The, or how does it feel knowing that you're making an impact, a uh, direct impact? It feels great. It makes me want want to keep going to work every day even it don't even feel like work because yeah. it's like let me go up there talk to these kids just laugh with them because yeah. they crazy they always got something going on so uh, go up there laugh with them and then the bonus i get to stay around football all the time True. so it's i it don't feel like work i come do it every day if i have to do you see yourself being a head coach at any point in your life uh no no it's too much of a headache all right um my biggest goal is uh, I see myself in five to ten years being in college, major college, D1, yeah. as a receiver coach. Okay. Because I know the position. I just need to master everything about coaching, how I did about playing. Yeah. So once I do that, then I think it's, it's going to be time for me to branch my wings out and to um, expand to other things. When you had, let's see, okay, receiver coach mm -hmm. now. Yeah, that's where you want to take it to, even five ten. But just at a yeah, because that bag a little different. I can I can believe it. Yeah, that bag is crazy. Once I I knew coaches like my head coach made like four million. Head coach, my receiver coach made like five hundred thousand. Oh my gosh! I'm like I can do this and get paid. What and just stay around football? This ain't no job. Yeah, like this a hobby at that point. But yeah, they they make crazy money, Major D one, crazy. Oh my goodness. Have you ever had a camp yet? Like, have you held a... Nah, I want to, but I don't know with me being coach at Gulfport, I don't know the stipulations or everything and if I would be breaking any rules. So that's probably the only reason I had any. So, but uh, I'm pushing, I'm going to push John to try to make it, try yeah. to have a camp because he, he's a, a great football mind yeah. that people don't really tap into because he's, he's for everybody, like. Around the coast, yeah. if you from Gulfport, Biloxi, um, Gaucher, the Pass, Han Hancock, he don't care. He yeah. don't. He don't discriminate. He just want to help kids out. That's what's up. That's what's up. We gotta get Nance on the show for sure. Oh man, he crazy. Man. Dude, funny. Yeah. I remember, <laughs> man. His bro, man. Shout out, Mister Nance. Mister Nance used to. I'm like, it ain't like I was a a, a parent. He would always tell me about Nance. Yeah. He'd be like, my son been playing basketball since he was two years old. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask Big Dog, but hey. you got it. But, but Nance was always a problem on the, on oh, the yeah. court, on the field. Man, imagine if he would have stayed. Lefty, left hand crazy. With the shot. Left hand crazy, bro. What? Hey, and he got the long arms. He was tall in there, buddy. Yeah, like he, I man, I'm like. I used to hate watching Nance dribble down the court. Bro. I'm like, dang, we got to actually play defense. Cause that was the only time it was challenging basketball yeah. wise. It was Nance. It was, um, I think that's it. Yeah, that was really it. So going and hanging out problem. with them.
Because that was his favorite sport. Basketball I had, was? To, I had to make him play football in ninth grade. Because mm. that's when he played um, varsity. Okay. Yeah, he like our ninth grade group. Yeah. He went up to him and Josh Sherry was on varsity, but he was just, he played JV. Gotcha. And then dressed out for varsity. But mm. I had to beg this man to play football. I'm yeah. like, dude. Bro, I need a receiver. Yeah. Come, I need, come on. Yeah. <laughs> man, this man played like four games go by. He come out then. He, I'm like, bro, you could have did this the whole year. But It's crazy. Yeah, he was a dog. Yeah. When I seen, um, so what is it like knowing that, all right, your brother up there in Mizzou with you? Or what, did y'all have a, y'all still was close like that then? Or? Oh, yeah. Okay. When he, when he, um, say he was transferring from Arkansas, he told us in a group chat first. I called him. Boom. Hey. Come on. Yeah. He told me, all right, talk to the coach for me. Yeah. Boom. About five, three, three, four, three to five months later, he on campus. Mm. I'm like, I need my dog. We, yeah. Hey, we got to go out. This yeah. is the last, we played with each other from middle school, high school, and in college. That That's don't crazy. come. People don't have that story. They are. So, yeah, he, hey, coach was like, is he a dog? I'm like, come on, man. Is I grew he? up this dude, man. <laughs> like, I wouldn't have called your phone if you what? wouldn't, coach. I'm like, this what we 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 from go for it like yeah. that's what we do. Nah, that's tough, bro. Like, that stuff was crazy though. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of stuff I ain't gonna say on this camera. But <laughs> yeah. hey, just know we had some fun time. Yeah, that's tough, bro. Now it was it was exciting to see both of y'all up there. Um, even seeing him do numbers at, at Arkansas. Yeah. Uh, it was just like yo, we really well. Me personally, I'm like I know them. Yeah. You, Darius, Derek. Yeah, that's Nance. It's like <sighs> that. Cl- from that's why I tell from 2012 to like 2016, yeah. 2017, Gulfport was crazy and everything. Yeah, track, football, basketball, bowling, like everything. Soccer, soccer doesn't now. lose. Soccer, hey, the girls, they don't lose. They get active. What is that? Like, a, like <laughs> every championship, championship, yeah. championship. It's almost like all right, powerlifting championship. What man, hey. 12, 2012 to 2017, 2016, yeah. it was crazy at GoPort, like, everything. That, like, that's when, like, the coast, you had Jalen Smith at yeah. Pascagoula. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Crazy. Dog. You, then, who else? Went to Louisville, went crazy, too. Well, he was going bananas. Numbers. Like, then you had Derek, he going crazy at yeah. Auburn. Mm-hmm. Man, that's what I love. Like, the coast, this is the... People look down on the coast, but this like some of the best athletes come from 100%. right here. Hundred percent. So. We just gotta get that that extra like one more that push. push. Yeah, it's that we like Derek might be the one to really go to be like, oh he, they got some down there. Yeah, but because we got the athlete, we always had athletes. Yeah, we just gotta get in these books, get the the um exposure we need, 100%. and perform at the next level. That's the biggest thing, and stay. At the, at the next level, we can't get there and want to come home and stuff like that. What it's, what tips would you give a receiver at any school right now, like as far as to help them get to the next level? Uh, work, work me. Don't just go out there and BS around. Yeah, have a plan when you go out there. Mm-hmm. Um, work, stay humble. Uh, be surrounded by people with like with like minds. Gotcha. Can't be around people. They ain't got nothing going for themselves. Energy. I'm a big energy person. Energy ain't right. I ain't been around it. Yeah. Got to have good energy around you. Positive energy. Um, and then never be too big for anybody. Like, you never know. Who some you? people Some people went to JUCO. True. They go to the league. Some people go to small colleges go to the league. What look good ain't always good. 100%. Tell me. That's the biggest thing with these colleges. What look good. They going to tell you. Everybody going to have the same format. Ooh, you so good. Ooh, uh, uh, they telling thirty other people that. Every, oh my gosh! Come on now. I tell you how they got us to call in, bro. They showed us. Um, they showed us the room where we was gonna watch film at. Oh yeah. Taking us through That's there. How they get you. Man, that was a football room, bro. <laughs> we was upstairs in the locker room. Yeah, this, yeah, this the room. Yeah. Sometimes they got this the thing wasn't working. <laughs> but, um, DVD box. We yeah. like coat. <laughs> where the seat set? Where the big TV? <laughs> where the room we was in on the visit? The Apple. Where that's it, coach? <laughs> no, you got that jacket. We in this pre- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we was like, oh snap, they got a jersey. I'm like, it was yeah. it was crazy. So these schools are gonna show you oh. what they're supposed to show you. 
Yeah, it's crazy now with the NIL deals. You basically going to highest bidder at this point. Are you choosing the money? Are you choosing that My, school? Mikey? Crazy. But he getting, oh my gosh, he's getting question. money. Okay. Remember he was doing the, the HBCU push? Yeah. You think he'll go HBCU? If the money, if the money right, yeah. I I think so too. If, I feel like if, if, the, if they pay him enough. Yeah. He'll go. Yeah, he'll go. If 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 other bigger schools are talking bigger numbers, yeah, I think it's but gonna be a I little bit tougher. I also see him going the G League route. You think he that good? I don't know. He ain't got much he... taller. I know he's a great player. Oh like, yeah, I mean like I'm skills. Uh, athleticism. He's beyond a great player. Yeah, but I don't know. We just ain't seen him in the people that's challenged. yeah. Yeah. Same with Zion. Like Zion, if, I know if Zion wasn't that huge. Yeah. Even the he league he played in. Millions playing football. Hey, You're a football player. I ain't going to lie. After, bounce. after seeing Zion do what he did, I was always mad that I never went and transferred, go to like a, a place yeah. where I could just wreck stuff. Now, he was going crazy against Lil Timmy and Lil Todd. Man, I watched the video the other day. He dunking the ball, ball hitting these boys on the head. <laughs> I'm just, talking about doink. That they ball, don't even care. Like, they just go. They get, go get dunked the... on. It's nothing. Yeah, I'm on overtime. Man, nah. I tell people all the time, if I could dunk, if I would ever caught a body, I mean, I'd have grabbed them by their shirt, yeah. picked them up. <laughs> I'm falling on top of them. I'm pointing at your head in the ground. I'm talking crap. I'm getting two texts easy. Well, yeah. That's like that's my biggest regret. I never got to dunk in the game. Mm. I could dunk in practice. Yeah. It'd be funny, game, too. <laughs> hey, the shot be funny, yeah. too. Hey, Rashad would go put that mug up. What? It didn't matter. Catch it. Oh. Oh, hey, you know that jab step that, coming. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. <laughs> hey, Sha, I was like, I'm here now. I got it. Y'all yeah. might as well. Hey, run to the rim. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go let this thing fly. Bro, you remember, Um, yeah, because that was 11th grade. We lost to St. Martin your senior year. You, I, I told Biscuit this other day. He said he never knew this. If you watch it back, so the game before, I think I hit a three to put us. That was that Jim Hill? I don't know. I just, I just we remember. played at home. Yeah, we played that at home. Jim Hill. That okay, was Jim Hill. Okay, so we hit that one. We end up winning the game and go to the next part. So I don't know if they're expecting me to shoot the next one. I'm, I got the confidence to shoot yeah. it, but I'm like, let me make a smart decision. So I'm driving down, a couple seconds left. Alton's dude comes at me. Alton, you wild for this, bro. <laughs> I throw, Alton is wide open. I throw the ball to Alton. He don't look at the rim. He catches it and throws it back. So I have to shoot it, bro. Hey. Alton said, I said, why didn't you shoot the ball? He said, we weren't finna go home on me. I <laughs> hey, said, you know what? I'm in no the corner. Way. I'm, in the, I'm in the, on the wing mug and shoot the ball. Bro. That's why you tell y'all, shoot the ball. I wish I would listen like, more. Bro, I go get the rebound, shoot the ball. <laughs> like, please, man, shoot it. Somebody got to shoot man, it. Somebody got to shoot it. If it get to me, <laughs> it's going up. I'm shooting it. Nah, that joke. It was fun though, bro. Oh yeah. Instead of playing with Roy, shout out ugly guy. Uh, yeah, man. Crazy. That crazy dude was so dude. crazy, bro. It was fun too. What them characters we had on the team? Whole that whole year, the whole both years. Second year, like uh, my junior year, it was cool. I think because we didn't go that far. Yeah, it was. But it was, we really had that. It was like, dang. When Josh Shirley left, it was yeah. like, dang. It was kind of somber. Yeah, because it was like, dang, we we balling, but it's like we missing that piece. Yeah, we missing the piece. We were missing a huge piece. It's like, man, we need that piece to get us over the top. And see, for me, I was sick because eighth grade, we went to the championship. Oh, yeah. Ninth grade, we won y'all the championship. Y'all was OD, man. Y'all had, y'all had a squad. We had a squad, bro. Coda, then ninth grade, y'all was just cheating. Yeah, we had both teams. Yeah, like, y'all was cheating. And the crazy part, but Biscuit didn't even play a whole lot. Yeah, y'all was cheating. Y'all had you, Mario. Yep. Coda. Biscuit, Coda. Raekwon. Yeah, y'all tilt. 20 and 0 dubbing everything. <laughs> it wasn't even fun. Yeah, bro. like, I'm like, y'all cheat, man. That's we won a uh, championship. Like, we thought, we really thought uh, Diabreville was going to give us, no, like, at least a, uh, some comp. Smoked them, Yeah. We like, God, I think Diabreville? <laughs> hey, got them boys up out of there quick. That no, was at Gopro High, wasn't it? Yeah, they were the one that beat that. us. They beat us that year before. So, we were like... Mm. Okay, y'all got to come with it this time. Then when you combine everybody, it's like... Smoked y'all. Yeah, get them boys. And then Coach Austin played us. He played the five you guys together and the Gopro High. <laughs> I mean, the Central Middle dudes together. We never mix it up. So, Biscuit was Austin, always out there with Kevin. Coach Austin got a crazy resume, though. Really? Yeah, nine grade teams? Really? He went to the, the championship, like, every year. I didn't know that. Because went, we went to the championship. Okay. But everybody on our team got kicked off. What you mean? What? You remember Roosevelt? 
Roosevelt? Carson. Yeah. Tall. Roosevelt. He got kicked out uh, athletic. He was dunking eighth grade. Roosevelt. He went to Long Beach. I know the name, but I can't think of his face. He ended face. up going to Long Beach. Okay. But he got kicked off the team in ninth grade. All right. You know Dez. Yeah. Dez yeah. was a dog back <laughs> yeah. then. Dez still a dog. <laughs> Dez go to the uh, go on base and wreck stuff. <laughs> Yeah, we had Roosevelt, Dez, John went to varsity. Yeah. So we had him. Who else we had? Um, what's Dakota? Xavier. Yeah. He they left. Yeah. But we had a squad. Xavier was cold too. Yeah, bro. we had a squad. He, he could get busy. Jordan but, Blaney. Yeah. All them. They they all got kicked off. Boom. I'm like, it's just me. Me, me and said. Yeah. Hey, we got Did y'all have Lorenzo? Lorenzo stopped playing for some reason. I, I don't remember. He stopped playing. Championship game, we got six players. That's crazy. I got I fouled out. Got a tech. <laughs> fouled out. We up 15. They come all the way back. No, no. Got us out of there at the end. That's crazy. Now, you I know. ain't know Coach Austin resume went that crazy, man. Shout out Coach Austin. Yeah, Coach Austin got a he got a little resume on him. That was my I think my first my ninth grade was his first year mm. at GoPro. You know, he got a little he got a little man, and he got saying. another squad this year. Really? Yeah, he got. They gonna go to the championship again. Girl, boy, girl boy, how done had some good teams since we left, but it's just like. What's the best team in your opinion? What you mean, like from when? Basketball. Not. Oh, I know. We my art. I'm putting this yeah. on on record. 2014 against any other state championship teams. We winning. Come on, we are gonna run them out the gym. Not nah, like we're winning. Especially the, any team like 2002 team. They had a squad, but it was just something about that 14 team, bro. Press, energy, like, every, hard. like getting tired was it really a like thing? We ain't, and the thing is, we didn't run. Like we didn't even run in practice. We that's just what, scrimmage. That's though, what Biscuit, right? Biscuit said. Uh, I said we would condition. Biscuit said we didn't condition for real. Like we scrimmage. We scrimmage. I would condition. I guess that's what I'm thinking about because I would condition personally because I was oh, like, see, nah, I, I had to figure no, out how to stay on the court. Yeah, I wasn't doing no conditioning. Really, it was go to practice, go home, play. Or go to Derrick House yeah. to play 2K. See, but we really, like, didn't get tired. No. Nah, like, made shots. That was the thing. We made shots. We made shots, like, bro. we making threes, layups, and we and turned one. the ball over. Like, it was, it got to a point to where, what I do remember, especially after watching the video, we played at such a fast pace. Everything felt like slow we motion. We shots up. It, it was. Yeah. Like, and we held the ball for, like, 10 seconds. We'd be like. Do like, something. Yeah, like, man. Get a ball, Josh. Here, go right. Get a layup. Then on defense, if you if you if we playing defense and you just passing that mug, yeah. bro, we'll we'll <laughs> like all right, y'all got two more passes and we really yeah. gonna come out there. <laughs> it's gonna be bad for y'all. Right. So that's when. But it was we had fun. But yeah. best team, because I don't really know any teams prior to I'm prior to you. us for real. But like since then, I mean, I got, I got us over everybody, of course. But, yeah, I, um, nobody beating us. Go for how to have some chances, bro. I'm gonna say my. My ninth grade year, I think Jeremy, Jeremy Holl no, that not, not that team. My tenth grade year, we had no. I'm gonna say ninth grade. They had Jeremy, Joshua, uh, Otis, Eddie Lee. Oh my gosh, Freaky J, Guy, Guy Jameson, Trayvon Travis. Yeah, and they don't win. Then you go to tenth grade. The only person you lose is Holloman. Holloman. And you get a year a a year under his belt for Josh Year? Cause y'all were the size skipped us, bro. Oh yeah, we ain't had no size. Like, I don't know what that was about. Now, Eddie? Yeah, Eddie was oh. six five. He murdering people at six five. Ed Eddie was six nine. Oh my gosh. D one. Eddie freaking uh even Tim. Tim was taller. Yeah. I, don't know, I remember nah I, I got a crazy hey, story about Tim. Tim get buckets. He did. He get like, buckets, but he the only person that crossed me up. And I was like, I couldn't guard that. Like, yeah. What he did, I was I couldn't guard that. He used to bring me in the gym my ninth grade year. <laughs> he would, we would be in the gym in the morning doing workouts. Yeah. Tim really worked out. Yeah, like that's what he, he him and Freaky J. Oh, um, you went you was in ninth grade then. They used to do one on ones before we got on the bus in like school clothes. They full blown sweat, Real hooping. like one on one, Real like hoopers, bro, in their blood, bro. Well, like they really getting at it, man. What Freaky J, his bro, his yeah. his game was just, it was smooth to me. Yeah, he had that. It was smooth. Freak just, 
he just didn't really let loose though. No. He, he Same held Otis. back. Otis, bro. Oh yeah, Otis was I like mean, Otis was cold. Man, Otis got cold. he could do he could jump, he could play defense, he could sh man, Otis had that mid range. It high post. <laughs> He get like, that, that thing, that, that thing lined and it, up too. And it's like it go up and down. It never went straight. It was up and down. You could tell he worked outside of yeah. the court. Man, I remember um shoot D book. D book on the cover of uh two K now. Oh yeah. I remember I used to think Devin was a demon. And like before demon yeah. was a term, for real. He was going crazy. I saw I saw his eyes, bro. <laughs> You yeah, that was, look, bro. It was. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell this part. Shout out to him, bro. Um, but he he did cook you that game, bro. He cooked. He cooked all of us that. Well, I would. That I was, was his. That was your ninth grade year. My tenth yeah, grade year. My ninth grade year. Yeah. yeah, he was. That's when he came to go program like 35. Bro, he put on Twitter. Remember the practice? Yeah, he, he put was on Twitter. Crazy. He said, "I'm going. I'm coming to get 30." And Coach Miller. Coach Miller came in the practice. Booker think he's coming in here and getting 30 in the he burnt. Got 35. Man, bro, the first the first one he had. This ain't he took he, it to the post. Too. He ran a three point line. Tim on him. Hands. Good defense. He jabbing, jabbing. He shoot. <laughs> I mean, the ball, as the ball is going in, he's looking at everybody on the bench. D book is. He's looking at everybody in their eyes. I didn't see the white parts of his eyes, bro. He had them black beady eyes. So I'm not tripping. This went, this one, he was. See, he talked bro. crazy now. He was talking. He was talking like, but it was just that silent talk, like. You can't, you can't hold me talk. Now it's like, just like I'm disrespectful. Yeah. But back then it was like I'm feeling myself out. Yeah. But you just let you know you can't check me. I, I just scored that one. Yeah. I'm finna go score it again. Then I'm going to the post. I'm seeing I'm, I'm fading away on you, bro. Killing that man. I'm talking about. He was backpedaling. I seen that dude's eyes. I said that is not a person, bro. <laughs> you've been, you've been the truth, bro. You've been the truth. Yeah, he was nice. He was but, nice. Now. But shoot, when we played him that year, you and Javon, y'all yeah. shut that down. Cause you got to get up under him, and then they, like people were saying he had twenty five, he had fifteen 20, free throws. Yeah, like he, he had he shot twenty shots. He shot twenty shots, made fifteen free throws. He had ten, 10 from the field. They they shut that down, bro. Yeah, like bro, people don't understand. Like if you get up under somebody and make them uncomfortable. Yeah. See, he he was used to getting double team. Yeah. So we like we know Coach Miller. Yeah. We ain't double team with nobody. <laughs> man, we finna go. Hey, man, go get him. Man, what? So once he seen that, he felt disrespected. Yeah. Then he started forcing it. Yeah. Then Javon, I remember Javon blocked him one time. I'm like, it's over with. Yeah. In his head. Yeah, like he trying to shoot over him every chance he get. Then he started doing the flopping. But he was it, getting He was him. a bucket though. He, he was. still was a bucket. He still was a bucket. Him, uh, shoot, Demi, him and Demi. Well, I know him and Josh. She was going at that game, yeah. like back and forth. Um, shoot, watching. I mean, just watching how everything played out, bro. It was crazy. Yeah, it was a it, magical run. It was. Because we played some comp, too. Provine? I still remember Meridian. Provine game. Meridian? People, and that's what, that's what, uh, who was just here? Warren? Yeah, Warren was like, people don't realize how, like, Meridian is still good. Yeah. But back then, bro. It was nice. Meridian was like, Provine oh my was gosh, nice. Pro, six, five, six, eight. Like, and with I remember, skill, though. I remember Buddy Hands, bro. <laughs> Which I'm, one? I can't remember. I think the, he was like the, number five. Swole. Swole he tall, dude. Probably so. He was like the he was like C four, C five. He ended up playing football, I think though. I, I know you're talking about. He, but I remember I like I remember about. he shot it one time and as he's backpedaling, his hands are just like like this. <laughs> I'm like, why is bro hands so huge? Yeah, they that was were. that was first time Josh uh, snapped at me. He was like, uh, <laughs> I shot. I don't know. I didn't shoot it. He passed to me and I didn't shoot it, and I did something and it ended up being a turnover, and coach called timeout. And we came back to the thing, and Joshua was like, "Bro, take Tyrell out, put Biscuit in, bro." I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> hey. my heart, but Joshua wanted to win yeah. though, so I, hey, it's cool, bro. But that just hurt my feelings. I was That's like, "What's thing about Joshua? He wanted you win. ain't getting that ball off then. Yeah, but if he give it to you, he expect you to shoot it. Guess who sat down? Me. He said, "Get put Ty, put Biscuit back in." Man, I sat that, down. That was the team though. It was, like, it, and it's man. like I would. It hurt my feelings, but I was like, "We want to win." Been like, man. But, Let's win. Let's get this done. Yeah, but when we got in the locker room, that's what changed our season. Yeah. Because that was the first time we really was like button head. Yeah. Because Miller, all them. I'm, when we had that conversation, I'm like, all right, we, we straight. We yeah. straight. Because we weren't supposed to lose that game. We weren't. Them boys, hey, them boys start turning that pressure up, hitting shots. I'm like, hey. I, was... I, I hit Walter on the bench. Hey, it's looking nasty for us. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Hey. <laughs> 
That's how it was when, um, man, shout out to Walt. Man. Yeah. That Madison Central game, we started crying on the bench. Somebody else said, who said that? I don't know. He's, man, start crying on the bench. Bro, who just, who somebody just told me he was crying on the bench he before? Was crying. Because they like, uh, who was I with? Was that Biscuit that said that? Man, he started crying on the bench. That's crazy, bro. I'm like, man, we, it's the third quarter. Hey, that man felt this senior season. Yeah, because that much, bro, that, that last year, yeah. I ain't going, bro. I, so, I, after this, we go, <laughs> we can talk about this all day. You know, I wouldn't. Re- I I tried to stop cussing in tenth grade. Right? Yeah, I remember that. So, after we lost my senior year, I I said the f bomb like twenty times in a row, bro. <laughs> I was so I was like, yo, we really just lost. Like that was my last. Who game. y'all lose to? Terry. Oh, it hurt thinking about it. Hey. I can't even watch second half, bro. Because I I had zero lost points. Saint, I lost Saint Martin. Yeah, that's that was tough. Because it's like Saint Martin, and then they went because we beat Madison Central that year. Yeah, we beat Madison Central. They went up there and lost by, what, 20? Yeah. And if I'm wrong, I don't think I'm wrong. I know y'all lost by a lot because we was like, dang, we should have been up there. Because yeah. Madison Central almost beat Starkville in the state championship. That's crazy. We had a real chance to go back, bro. I think that's where it really irked me, too, is like we got to that huge stage and then we just never made it past. Yeah. We never went back to Jackson. Yeah, that's, was that's what hurt me the most. I'm like, dang. My ninth grade year, 10, 11, we went to Jackson. Yeah. My senior year, nothing. I'm like, Dang, that hurt. Dude, I was like, St. Martin? <laughs> my God. No disrespect to St. Martin. No, absolute disrespect to St. Martin for me anyway. Like, I, St. I, Martin? Bro. Man, them like, it was St. Martin was one of them games we always have a good game, but we beat them at the end. That game, I'm like. I was sick. I think I, Stacy. I don't know. He was a bucket too. And then Sykes. Sykes wasn't good back then to me, bro. Sykes was. He was decent. He, had the, he was one of them. He had the potential. Right. But he wasn't good, but he cold. He now. went to South Alabama. He got busy, going crazy. Got people. busy, but yeah, it was it was a lot, man. It was a whole lot. All that stuff was fun, um, man. For those of you who are listening, half of this stuff got cut out, so you going you can find that on the bonus episode on YouTube with just some of the behind the scenes stuff that we talked about. Um, other than that, is there anything you want to leave the people with, bro? Um, appreciate you for having oh, me on. Hundred percent, bro. Um, no, I'm good, man. Um. Uh, Blessing to be on this platform. Hey, my guy finna blow up. 100%. Hey, support my dude. Hey, he doing a positive thing in the world that's not so positive right now. True. Hey, all blessings. Appreciate it, bro. For sure. Well, this has been an episode of the ATM Antisocial Podcast with none other, Mr. Rashad Floyd. Yes, sir. Uh, make sure you subscribe, comment, share, tag somebody you know, tag somebody you don't know. Share it with somebody you know and share it with somebody you hate. They ain't gonna know the difference, no way. It's all the same, man. Y'all be easy, though.